Yes. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Cedric Mixon. I'm the founder of Cobalt Books Entertainment. And I am the publisher of Reverend Barr's four books. So I came here thinking that I was just going to record the event. Somehow Burton put me on the program. <laughs> he said uh, they want to hear some words from me. So I want to congratulate my friend and business partner, Reverend Barr, for all that you've done and accomplished in church and in ministry. Job well done. I am inspired by watching you simply do what God has asked you to do. Amen. I'm reminded of an old saying, there comes a point in a man's life when he has to fight. When I first met Reverend Barr, I was on the verge of closing down my publishing company to do some other things in business. It was a Friday, and I decided to pray about it over the weekend, and I'll make my decision on Monday. I was looking for a sign. So Saturday, Saturday comes around, it's an ordinary Saturday, no sign. Sunday starts off just like Saturday. So I decided to go to church and see if I could find my sign within the sermon. That didn't happen. There was no, there was no sign. It was a good sermon, no sign. So I get home, I get a call from my church member and sister, Danita Robinson, and she's going on and on about a, a guy with a phenomenal story to tell. She needs to connect us. She's always trying to connect me with individuals. But I was thinking, I'm about to close down the company in less than 24 hours, so it probably is not going to matter. But have them give me a call. So an hour later, I get a call from Reverend Burton Barr, Jr. And he starts talking. And the more he's talking, and I'm thinking, I have to be a part of this. I long to be a part of a, of a project that um, fit into the national conversation that we've been having about all the issues plaguing the black community. And with Reverend Barr, he was touching on at least nine of those 10 issues. And um, the more he's talking, and he's running down his rap sheet and all that God had delivered him from, I remember hearing God ask me one simple question. Will you help me tell this story? So, 14 years later, four published books, one book in the works, as soon as Burton finishes it, on overcoming drug addiction. We have a documentary that's about 70% complete. And then our big project that we've been working on for some years, we're raising funds for Reverend Barr's life story, the feature length film. Here we are. When we started these projects, we had one goal in mind, and that's to plant seeds of hope in as many people as possible so that they too can turn their life around just as Reverend Barr did many years ago. And dealing with the ups and downs of raising money for the film on Reverend Barr's life, if I were honest, I would admit this is easily the hardest thing I've ever tried to do in my entire life. I would imagine it's not the hardest for Burden. He overcame addiction. But for me, it was definitely the hardest thing I had to do. But like I said in the beginning, there comes a point in every man's life when he has to fight. I'm reminded of who's in control and whose project it really is. It's, it's, it's not my project, it's not Reverend Barr's project. This is the Lord's project. And uh, we're just his workers. We're out here trying to do his mission. So Reverend Barr and myself, we have a lot of work to do. This is the fight that God has asked us to fight. Westside, I want to thank you all for supporting Reverend Barr all these years. You may not have known it that when you were supporting him, you were also supporting me. So for that, I say thank you. And Reverend Barr, I thank you for 
allowing me to uh, walk this journey with you. And uh, congratulations on your retirement. Although you may be retired from the church, uh, we still have a lot more work to do. And as I would imagine, there's going to be a whole lot more fighting. Thank you.